What's up guys, Kibitron09, back here with another video for you guys today. And uh, I've been out a bit because February is the toughest month of school for me, so I've been having to focus on that. But I do have uh, a quick little bunch of pickups for you guys today, so I'm just going to get right to it. First off, if you guys watched my unboxing video, I did an unboxing for the Magica HD Game Box, which is a great little system. And what that does is it, it allows you to play um, games on a VGA monitor and it'll convert it for you. And it does a pretty good job. The audio is not bad. You need an exterior speaker. And the picture itself is very good. So if you guys want to check out that unboxing, that'd be great. And I'll probably be putting up a review eventually for that because I think that it's a good thing to get out there because there aren't very many reviews out there for it. And um, it's a good little product. All right, next up, I got the DJ Hero 2 bundle for the PS3. It came with the two turntables and the microphone. And I don't know if you guys can see that price tag, but that was 24 bucks which is really the only reason why I bought it. It was so cheap. And um, I heard pretty good things about it. But uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. I think that uh, Activision got the uh, formula right here, doing the uh, the mixes and such that were... I, th I don't think they were available any other way. It's not really my style of music. I don't know too much about it. But the interface was smooth, and the game was fun. So, All right, next up, I got a few manuals for games that I already had. First is Eternal Ring for the PS2 is now complete. And next up is Legend, Legend of Zelda 4 Swords Adventures, which is now complete. So I was excited to complete those two games. Next I got a few cheap PS2 games. Uh, six, I believe. So I'll get right to it. First is Mobile Suit Gundam Journey to Jaburo. I haven't tried this one out yet, but uh, it's more of a mech shooter. It got mediocre reviews, but I'll give it a shot eventually. And I've been into a bit of the demo discs recently, so I picked up uh, Jam Pack Summer 2003 and 2001. And some cool demos on this. There's Legacy of Kane, Ico, uh, Zone of the Enders. This one has Jack, Tom Clancy's, uh, Splinter Cell. So an interesting group. And I think the funny thing about this one is, those who have heard of the game Drakan, um, know it's on the PS2, but there was actually a planned sequel that never came out, but there's a video trailer on this, which I think was kind of interesting. Next was Kaya Dark Lineage, which seems like a Zelda clone with a, a girl is what I've heard. And it's a mix between Beyond Good and Evil and Zelda. It's, it's what I've heard. And I heard it's pretty good, so I might give that one a go. Um, here is Mark of Cry. And finally, Warriors of Might and Magic, which I believe received poor reviews because of repetitive gameplay, but I might pop it in and see how it is. It was cheap. Alright, next up I got two miscellaneous games. Uh, one is Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon for the DS. I grabbed this at Barnes & Noble actually, which is a weird place to buy a game because it's usually a bookstore for those who don't know. But I got it with a gift card and it's a very, very good strategy RPG. I believe it's a remake of one of the originals on the DS using the touchscreen controls to move your characters around. The interface is smooth and the gameplay is very addictive and enjoyable so I highly recommend you pick this up. It's a bit expensive right now and I don't know how how uh, how, well, how much it will go down in price because Fire Emblem games seem to keep their price range up pretty high. Like Radiant Dawn still up there etc. Uh, but anyway here is Hammer and Hero for the PSP. Um, this is a very interesting uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up sort of thing with uh, platforming elements uh, by Atlas and you're basically this guy who goes around with a hammer through levels using it to beat past enemies and continue to the next level and it's pretty interesting pretty addicting it's a good pick up and play sort of game so I recommend you grab it if it sounds interesting to you and next up is 3D Dot Game Heroes for the PS3 um, I've been on a PS3 craze a little bit I've just recently received the console and I heard that this was a good one it's sort of like an overhead style original Zelda clone with little pixely people. You can make your own character. Um, it stays true to the original Zelda formula, and it's just what it says. It's a Zelda clone by Atlas, and it's really good. I recommend you try it out. And another one that's surprised me how much I've enjoyed it, and that's Brink for the PS3. I found it for 10 bucks cheap, brand new. It came with a slipcover. I don't have it on here, but it is there. And... It's very good. I've been playing a lot of it online. I haven't even touched the campaign yet. But uh, it's really cool how you create your own character. You can customize your own weapons. And you play online as either the revolution or security. 
Um, I prefer to play as a revolution, but it does uh, pick random when you're online. And you'll gain experience as you keep playing more and more, which will unlock you more clothing and more uh, character features, as well as skills. And you can spend your points on skills. And it's class-based, so there are four classes, Engineer, Soldier, Operative, and Medic. The medics go around, obviously, healing. And uh, if you die, if a medic comes and gives you a revive singe, you'll revive yourself. And um, engineers do certain objectives like fixing something or destroying something or hacking, um, etc. Operatives are similar to the spy class in Team Fortress 2, where you'll pretend like you're the other team, and you'll be able to uh, you'll look like the other team to, to those on the other side, but uh, you can sneak up and kill people. And the soldier is a class with unlimited ammo, and that's the class that I prefer. But uh, what I really like is that the multiplayer isn't just a shoot back and forth Modern Warfare 3 style. It's more of a, um, you have an, a, have an objective as a certain class and you have to complete that to um, be successful. And the more you complete, uh, the more your points rack up to being uh, victorious. There are also challenge modes where you get, um, unlock new weapons and also unlock new upgrades for your weapons like scopes, or different magazines. Uh, a grenade launcher on the bottom of your gun, etc. It's really cool, and I really recommend you guys pick it up. It's dirt cheap now. Uh, there's still a few people playing, at least in the PS3 community. I bought on the PS3 so I can play online. I really recommend you guys at least give it a shot. It's cheap. Uh, it got some pretty bad reviews because of early on bugs, but since then they've been patched, and I think it's pretty good. I think it's worth a bit of your time and money. This is easily the best pickup I've had in this bunch. Uh, maybe in a bunch of bunches recently and it wasn't even uh, something I got myself it was a gift from my girlfriend for Valentine's Day and it was so nice of her to pick up the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim for me and um, as you guys know if you've been following my channel Oblivion was my favorite game of all time one of the first RPGs I've ever played and I don't think I could ever go back to playing that again after playing Skyrim honestly it's incredible uh, the visuals are smooth gorgeous looking the interface of the menus is a lot it's a lot better. It's a lot easier for a beginner to understand. The magic system is incredible. The dual wielding inclusion. Uh, I just I can keep going on and on. It's it's stuff you've already heard about, I'm sure. So I won't uh, keep it with that too much, guys. But um, really an awesome game, and I want to thank her for that so much. That was very generous of her. So anyway, everyone enjoy a vacation if you're having a vacation right now. I know a lot of students are. I'm not, but I will be soon. But um, hope everyone has a good one, and I'll see you guys later.